How's it going guys, Oliver here from WinBeta, and today I'll be going over drawing performance using Clip Studio, also known as Mongo Studio 5 to Western audiences, with the Surface Pro 4. The Surface Pro 4 I have is the base model with the Core M3 processor and 4GB of RAM. Many of you have asked how this weaker base model performs on Clip Studio. Simply put, it performs well, but not mind-blowingly well. Pen tracking on the canvas itself is spectacularly responsive. Interestingly, for some reason, there's an increased latency when tracking outside of the canvas onto the menus. This is clearly a software optimization issue and not the fault of the device itself. On the canvas itself, though, it tracks perfectly. Similarly, stroke drawing is equally responsive on normal size brushes and brush interpolation is virtually flawless. Where drawing starts to become laggy is with huge sized transparent brushes, such as this airbrush cranked up to the max 2000 pixels with a uh, significant fade. You won't see this problem with similarly sized pen tool, which is for the most part flat. In essence, what makes a brush laggy is complex transparency dynamics over large scales. Admittedly, this is more of a problem with uh, software side brush rendering in general. You'll see this kind of issue on desktop class processors as well. However, it's worth noting that even in the worst of lag, in my experience it still accurately records the stroke. It just takes a while to render. Clip Studio on the Surface Pro 4 supports multi-touch gestures such as pinching, panning, zooming, and rotating. Here I have a fan art contest image that I drew at 8192 by 8192 resolution. It's actually kind of random how smoothly the gestures perform. Sometimes it'll perform as smooth as silk, other times it'll be as smooth as a cheese grater. And I haven't been able to pinpoint a consistent reason for the frame dropping, even between images of completely different sizes and layer counts. Thankfully, however, in my experience, it always remains responsive, so it won't actually inhibit your workflow if it does drop a few frames here and there. I also want to know that there's an option in the Tools section of Clip Studio's Preferences menu called something like High Speed View Mode. Enabling this, I find, gives a noticeable performance boost in multi-touch navigation. Another area where you might start to see lag is in color selections through tools such as the Bucket Fill tool or the Magic Wand tool. Depending on how large the selection region is, you may see a delay of several seconds before it successfully picks all the similar adjacent pixels on a canvas size as large as this. You will see that very little or virtually none of this issue on smaller resolutions. I have to stress that the performance gaps I've described are not particularly because the base model Surface Pro 4 is too weak, but because software side rendering frequently used on desktop programs like Photoshop and Clip Studio are usually really inefficient at dealing with huge quantities of pixels. What I'm trying to say is, you're most likely going to encounter these performance issues on higher end Surface Pro 4 models, even some desktop models. Now, for the 4GB of RAM, the RAM usage hasn't really been an issue. In fact, of all the things I've encountered, it's probably the thing I've worried about the least. There are moments when Clip Studio will consume a huge amount of memory, but that consumption quickly disappears after Clip Studio is done rearranging itself at any given moment. And I've never gotten any sort of warning that I was using too much, even with a dozen edge tabs open. So long as you're not juggling multiple large canvases and heavyweight programs at the same time, the 4GB of RAM in the base model shouldn't hinder your drawing experience. And if you're really worried about RAM usage, Clip Studio allows you to control the maximum amount of RAM and virtual disk space it consumes. All told, drawing performance on Clip Studio with the base model Surface Pro 4 is good with a few hiccups here and there. And while the higher end Surface models will probably allow you to keep several Photoshop and Clip Studio canvases open at the same time, in my experience they won't do much to help the brush lag or the pixel selection uh, delays at higher resolutions. So if you're looking to get the base model Surface Pro 4 for sketching and digital painting, and you're not looking to go absolutely crazy in your usage, I'd say go for it. In the worst case scenario, you can return it and reassess your needs if it turns out to be not enough. And that's about all I have to say about uh, Clip Studio performance on the base model Surface Pro 4. Um, as always, if you have any further questions, hit me up on uh, my Twitter, at OliverWinBeta. Thanks for watching.